విజయవాడలో గణతంత్ర వేడుకలను లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం projects are completed and inaugurated five projects are completed and ready for inauguration 26 projects are in progress and are scheduled to be completed before 2019 monsoon and 13 new projects are at various stages of sanction and grounding to transfer water from various from surplus basins to deficit basins government have taken the task of interlinking of all major rivers in the state godavari krishna river link namely pavitra sangamam is already completed with the commission of the patti sima lift scheme mega projects of godavari perna link to transfer 320 tmc of water to the drought prone areas of guntur prakasham nellur chittur and kadapa districts and the supply of water to somasila reservoir is proposed to be taken up in five phases the phase one of the godavari perna link to supplement water to nsp right canal is already commenced the works of vamsadara nagavali link nagavali swarnamukhi vegavati champavati rivers are link are in progress it is also proposed link godavari champavati nagavali rivers and the uttarandhra sujala sravanti all these links will create a grand link of all major rivers in the state maha sangamam the growth of industry and manufacturing in sector in uap has outpaced industrial growth in india over the last 3 years this is in contrast to the 10 year period from prior to 2014 when industrial growth in ap lagged behind india In 2017-18 the growth rate of industrial sector was 4.40% for India and 8.49 for EP, for AP state government is tracking 2633 large scale and mega projects which committed investment of rupees 15.77 lakh crore with an employment potential of 33.30 lakhs out of these 820 projects have gone into production with committed investment of rupees 1.82 lakh crore and committed employment of 2.80 lakhs further a total of 1211 projects are at civil work stage with a committed investment of 5.27 lakh crore and a committed employment of 7.66 lakhs marquee companies and include issues of motors pepsi cadbury's kellogg's green ply gamesha susloan energy colgate palmolive tata chemicals berger paints arbindo pharma lorus labs hospira hospira healthcare dr reddy's labs lupin rexam etc has started commercial production in andhra pradesh automotive sectors attracted projects which come to investment rupees 224615 crore with uh, with companies such as kia motors the government has so far received rupees 221573 crores worth investment proposals in the pharma sector which can potentially generate employment for 0.43 lakh people in the state andhra pradesh is proud of having attracted one of the largest fdis in a green field project in india in recent times Indonesian pulp and paper giant Asia Pulp and Paper Group is setting up not only India's but perhaps the largest paper mill in a single site in the world at Rama Ramaya Patnam in Prakasham district with an investment of 24500 crores the state government recently entered into an MOU with Adani Group to set up a renewable powered 5 GB 5 GD data center in Visakhapatnam with a proposed inventory of 70000 crore once in every five one in every five mobile sets produced in India is now made in Andhra Andhra is an Andhra product Hope over 3 to 3.5 million phones are produced every month in AP today. The APT AP Tourism Development is currently tracking 200 investment projects across sub-sectors such as hotels, resorts, amusement parks, adventure activities, water sports, with investment potential of rupees 15,325 crore and employment potential of 82,874. The state government have taken up skill development initiatives on a big scale. Already 88.6 lakh. 66 lakh benefits have been covered under the APSSDC training programs over the last 4.5 years. Mukhya Mantri Yuvan Estam scheme was launched to benefit unemployed youth with monthly allowance to pursue skill development uh, courses. Over 4.3 lakh unemployed youth have been sanctioned under the scheme, and rupees 3.5 lakh facts have been paid an unemployment allowance of rupees 1,000 each till date. Government have launched recruitment drive to provide jobs in government sector to unemployed youth. And the Pradesh has stopped in employability level among states according to India Skill Reports 2019. The Amravati Anantapur Greenfield Expressway with a length of 384 kilometers and a cost of rupees 20,000 crore is going to be a reality soon. Necessary approvals are being processed to make this historic initiative that will reduce time from farthest Rail Sima district to Amravati to just four hours. Since June 2014 to date, 22,164 kilometers of roads have been upgraded as national highways. Further, state government have taken up upgradation of all state roads from existing standards to double lane standards based upon scientific traffic survey. The objective of providing pothole free highways to the citizens has been satisfactorily has been a satisfactory achievement of the government. Airports in the residual Andhra Pradesh did not have adequate infrastructure. The state government have reduced the tax on aviation turbine fuel from 16% to 1%, the first of its kind in the country. The state government have provided land for the existing airports expansion free of cost to AI for airports at Vijayawada, Rajamandri, Tirupati and Kadappa. State government capital state capital Amravati got connected to the first international sector Singapore with the viability gap providing provided by state government 
State government have taken action to develop three airports at Bogapuram near Visakhapatnam, Varavakkal near Karnul, and Dhamavaram near Nelduz. State government have also taken up with the AI for development of new airports at Donakonda in Prakashan district and an airstrip at Kuppam in Chittor district. Due to the robust port policy, government of India, government of Andhra Pradesh could award two new ports under the PPP, Bhavanapadu port in Srikakulam district and Kakinada SCZ port in East Godavari and Ramaya Patnam port in Prakashan district on ownership basis. The state government had devised a convergent strategy for optimum utilization of Narega, MNRGs and flagship programs for creation of certain basic rural infrastructure with active involvement of about 24 line departments. From 2014-15 onwards, about 23,553 km CC roads have been constructed under the Chandrana Bata. About 11,253 kilometers of WBM gravel roads were laid with an expenditure of 713.38 crores. The government are planning to ensure 100% coverage of all internal roads with CC roads in the next two years. A record number of 2,071 gram panchayat buildings are constructed at an with an expenditure of 203.38 crores. In addition to this, 996 gram panchayat buildings are under progress during the current financial year. A total number of 565 Anganwadi buildings have been constructed with an expenditure of 170.56 crores. 375 buildings have been constructed with an expenditure of Rs. 442.90 crores under the Sri Shakti Bhavans for use of Mahila Samakya's construction of 35 buildings is under progress. State was declared ODF on 7-7-2018 and the efforts of the state have been recognized by the Government of India to Swachh Sarvekshan Gramin Award 2018. Subsequent declaration of ODF, ODF state is now moving.